Well, greetings, class of 1980. You know, I should say something else. Let me start that over. All right. Greetings, tenacious class of 1980. <laughs> I know we all had our names, and tenacious was never one that we used. It was always illustrious or great. I think 79 took that. But I think tenacious because if you were a four-year student in four years, we saw some stuff. We saw the calf burn down. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw uh, Carrie get stuck under a tractor. Uh, we uh, saw an unfortunate death of our own Erica there in front of Kimbrough Hall. And a number of other things, uh, a big fight, fellows against the dean and the calf. <laughs> we saw some things. But let me tell you something. If you were there for any period of time, when you see this man here, Sheldon Walden, our own classmate from 1976, 1978. That's right. You know, I was having a conversation with Howard Trawick uh, about a year ago, maybe a little over that, you know, about students that were with us earlier in our years, freshman, sophomore, junior years, but just went in a different direction or just didn't graduate with us for whatever reason. And, you know, Harold was sharing how, you know, sometimes people feel like if they don't graduate with you, they're not a part of the whole. And Sheldon decided to, to stop by here uh, to visit us here in, in Smyrna at our own studio favor. <laughs> by the way, Eric Wynn, I know you're a younger class, but I got this backdrop for you. He's going to be stopping <laughs> by soon. And he wanted an urban scene. I was trying to tell Eric, oh, we don't have an urban scene in Smyrna, Delaware. <laughs> You're just not going to find it. So we're going to try and recreate it for an upcoming shoot uh, here at Studio Favor. <laughs> but I just wanted to chat with you, class of 1980, about how we embrace all individuals, whether they're with us in 76 and not till 80, or whether they were with us all along. It doesn't matter. If you were a freshman, poised to graduate in 1980 from anywhere, you're one of us. You're one of us. Thank you. And I just want to re-welcome you to the family, man. Never forget that you are PFA class of 80. I know you may have a certificate or <laughs> a high school diploma from somewhere, somewhere else, else, right? but if we need to reprint one for you, <laughs> we will. But I just thought of doing this little broadcast, as it were, to the class of 80 uh, as a reminder that we we're about to uh, embark upon our 40th year mm. reunion. Mm. Wow, 40, 40 years. 40 years, that's crazy. Man, that makes me feel old. Uh, me? Oh, you old. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You know, I have to tell you something. By the way, thank you for inviting me. Indeed, brother. Thank, thank, indeed. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Uh, pleasure to be here. Yeah. You know, after after the beginning of the after the year changed the calendar uh, mm -hmm. to, to 2019. Yes. Last, last several days, I've been thinking about that. I said, my God, um, you know, I, I just felt a, a, a extra impetus this year. It seemed like something has passed, or at least for mm -hmm. me, uh, this year, and it, it reminds you of the passage of time. How quickly time goes. I mean, yes. it goes just like that. It's like a yes. blink of an eye. And just yesterday, I remember, uh, you know, Reno. People should know who, who watching this. Um, Reynolds was the first, one of the first people I met on the campus when I arrived there, uh, at a, you know, just before my 14th birthday, 1976. And um, I was, uh, I was, you know, I was, I, the first time I'd been uh, away from my parents, uh, by myself, um, and like I mentioned to Reynolds on many occasions, um, my mother brought me to the campus. Uh, one of the first people we met was Reynolds, and uh, my mother asked him to ask, ask Reynolds to, to take care of me. And um, uh, I, I mentioned some to Reynolds and, and everybody else that you know uh, my mother had a, my late mother had a had a big fondness for, for Reynolds. Um, always asked about him, uh, and uh, thought you know you know was, was you know thought very highly of you. So I just want you Thank to know you. that she's gone and beyond, but she was, was you know she was really liked you. And uh, Reynolds, you know, looked after me, you know, you know, I was there, uh, and uh, I made my two years, uh, I left, and then in recent years, we, we, 
we reacquainted with each other and got got to know each other better. And you know, it's been a long stretch. You know, a lot, lot of stuff. Lost, you know, life happens. And yes. Life yes. happens. Yes. Ups and downs and yes. sickness and health. And But, you know, knock on wood, we're still here. That's right. We're still here. And uh, so I'm grateful, you know, and, you know, to, you know, good things to come for, uh, good things to, to, you know, in, in the future for all of us. Yes. You know. You know, I flash back and I always enjoy talking to my classmates because I was sharing with Sheldon earlier that there's a lot that I just didn't recall or aren't, I'm just not able to recall for whatever reason I, it seems like a lot of those you know pieces or a blur but when I come together to talk to classmates and other people from that period of my life you seem to you know help me recall things and, mm. and actually clarify things that have come through one thing I used to remember is you and Greg and some of those other guys just dashing through the hallways, so <laughs> chasing each other all over the place. Your mother didn't have a worry in the world. You were going to be just fine. But we developed these relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, my own experience, you know, I, I'm so thankful that my mother had the presence of mind mm. to get me out of there. Mm. Uh, my there was the projects of, of Wilmington. Mm. Mm. Uh, grew up in the projects and, uh, you know, single parent household. My dad died when I was two. Mm. But she saw something uh, changing in me. I was a, a young teenager and beginning to make choices that she knew in her wisdom might not have been the best choice for me in that period of my life. So in her wisdom, mm -hmm. she decided to snatch me off that corner of mm -hmm. Rosemont Avenue and Henderson Drive mm -hmm. and give me something different. Mm -hmm. So oddly enough, I arrived at Pine Forge in 1976 as a 14-year-old or maybe younger. It was August, so I think I might have been 14 by mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. and. You know, your mom approached me about, you know, looking after her son, <laughs> me being a baby myself, right? Uh, however, in God's wisdom, he, he has always known what's best for us mm -hmm. and what we've needed mm -hmm. all along. And I'm just so thankful that mom, in her wisdom, was able to get me out of there mm -hmm. and give me a new circle of association. Mm -hmm. And you and mm -hmm. my classmates of, uh, of 80, of 79, 78, 77, and even those uh, from 76 that bounced back mm -hmm. were all very important and instrumental in our development. That's so right. I'm just so thankful that God preserved us through it all, whether absolutely. it was from our neighborhoods absolutely. or whether it was there at Pine Forge Academy. And I'm thankful, man, that no, I had no, a chance no, absolutely. To, to touch your life as you did mine. Well, thank you. I, you yes. know, and, and it mentioned our, our, our mothers, absolutely. How uh, many times you go shake hands tonight, man? Uh, uh, you ain't 79. We like each other naturally. Uh, <laughs> What's up, 79? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Just, just, just 79. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Um, you know, a month before I got to Pine Forge, just, you know, I, I got mugged on the streets of, uh, in, in New York City, a block from my house. Yeah. And at that time, people don't know about New York City. New York City, on, on certain parts of the city, was, was, was awful. Everybody was getting mugged. Yeah. And uh, I got, you know, I got assaulted. Uh, uh, serious damage to my eye. And um, my mother, like yours, was, 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 was uh -huh. on top of things. Yes. And uh, she was fearful of yeah. a number of things. She said, look, uh, this is, uh, you know, this can't stand. And she looked for a school. Uh, uh, Pastor J.P. Willis, who uh, had a son at the school, uh, recommended that I come to the Pine Cardell. Forge. Cardell. Shout out to Cardell Car Willis. Cardell Willis, yes. that's right. And Cardell, who, who Pastor Willis lived in my old building in, in the city. Uh, he recommended school, and um, the rest is history. You know, my, shout out to Wendy Horn. Uh, Wendy Horn, yes, neighbor, huh? my whole neighbor across the street. That's right. You know, that's right. And, she's, uh, she's class seven nine, though. We can't talk <laughs> too much about that. Sorry about that, Wendy. So, so uh, you know, um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for for a number of things. First of all, I'm grateful. Pine Forge helped me do a couple of things. I, I, first, I first became uh, I first became a vegetarian at, at that time. Yeah, me too. And also, I, I think I. I, I Reached a deeper spiritual connection. Uh, you're going to church services on Friday night. Yes. A Saturday, a Saturday yes. services. You know, yes. vespers. You know. Yes. Well, yes. All, you know. Um, yes. I, I, you know. Uh, so some of them, so even, even by osmosis, you can kind of get 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 get, get the spirit, and it also gives you a sense of there's a higher power. Yeah. That there's uh, there's someone looking after you, and uh, even though I'm, I'm I'm not a regular church goer now, it, it, it's 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 a, a foundation that I got from Pine Forge. Yes. That has has been part of me to this day. Yes, and I'm for that. I am eternally grateful Amen. because I think on, on, on a number of occasions um, over the course of a life, it's gotten me out of a, a, a tricky situation or two. You know, Amen. kind of having a good sense and and, and uh, asking the, the Lord to look out, look yes. after me. And uh, you know, so 
That's the way it is. It's quite a testimony, man. Thank you for that. Oh, so listen, class of 80 and other classes that may be seeing or listening to this, we just want to remind you of our upcoming reunion 2020. Mm. And we decided to do this little broadcast just to reassure others who were with us in 1976, 1977, mm. that you are a part of us. Mm. There's no reason that you can't join us. And I like to, to actually uh, applaud and join the challenge that I believe it was Leon and India put out there that if each one of us can reach somebody mm -hmm. to invite them to our reunion in 2020, then we'll have a wonderful, wonderful showing uh, and representation of the class that we had then. Mm -hmm. Listen, we've all changed. Yeah. And don't be worried about anything. Mm -hmm. Listen. We all have reasons to stay inside in the morning sometimes, but listen, this is no reason to stay at home. Uh, we love Pine Forge, and for each of us, mm. Pine Forge, as you alluded, mm. played a very important role in our early development. Mm. I know what it, it did for me. Mm. It gave me some skills and leadership and self-development, spirituality, mm. and just uh, developing a covenant relationship for myself mm. as a young man That's with right. God. That's right. That's Those right. things still carry me today That's as right. That's uh, right. an, an Adventist. And I, you know, I, I just want to encourage everyone from our class, if you were there as a freshman, uh, sophomore in, in 78, a junior, mm. whether you arrived then or whether you arrived in 1980 as a senior to graduate with us then, or even if you didn't graduate mm. with us, please still come. Right. Because just know this, you're ours, you're our classmates, man, and, and we love you, and we'd like to see you. So please, take on the challenge to reach out to another student that was in our classes or during those four years of while they're at Pine Forge, and come. Mm -hmm. I also want to remind everyone that we do have the month of February, as I'm told, we're raising money for Erica Taylor's, mm. uh, the, the Erica Taylor Fund. And I think the number is like five hundred dollars that we want to try and reach, and I want to pledge today at right. least yeah. fifty dollars yeah. that I'm, I'm willing to pledge. Yeah. And if each one of us can give even fifty bucks, right. uh, we'll we'll reach our goal and probably exceed it. So right. I'll start the challenge. I'll give fifty dollars mm -hmm. uh, or more, whatever it takes. Fifty dollars at this point right. to meet that challenge and let us all raise that money by uh, the due date in February. I'm not sure where, when it is. I think it's maybe like February. Let's just say February fifteenth. Okay and let's raise this money so that we can get uh, that scholarship satisfied so we can award a student with uh, the plaque mm -hmm. and the money mm -hmm. that simply says that you know we're honoring our student, our classmate Erica Taylor, yep. and uh, what you're doing, what you're uh, exhibiting as a student, a young student at Pine Forge Academy today, reminds us of what she laid down back in the day. Mm -hmm. Uh, she was a bright student, mm. uh, a brilliant young lady, yeah, yeah. and on a, a, her way to an amazing future when her life was cut short, unfortunately. Mm. So we want to honor her by uh, blessing another life that uh, kind of assimilates uh, the life that she was uh, beginning to live uh, during that year of her life. So please give. Uh, please look to the website for instruction as to how to give, whether mm. it's going to be a GoFundMe or whether it's just going to be a... Uh, uh, a medium that we're going to choose to give, but please be willing uh, uh, to give to that fund. Listen, it was good seeing you, brother. A great seeing you. You have blessed our home with your presence. Hope oh. was delighted to see you, oh. delighted to meet you. Oh. And just think, we're shaking hands again for the fourth or fifth time, <laughs> but I ain't seen this brother in, in 40 40 years. Years. 42 years. That's, That's right, 42 years. 42 years. years, man. Man, I love you, man. I love you, too. And I will see you in 2020. Yes, sir. I ain't playing, man. Uh, I know you're not. Amen. Oh, God love bless. You. God bless. Class of 80, tenacious class of 80, because we went through it. That's right. But we made it. We're right. still here. That's right. When I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. Right. You don't want me to sing that song. Oh! <laughs> Y'all take care. We love you. Peace. Peace.